Hey guys, it's Dr. Sam Robbins. I've gotten a lot of questions about guys still asking about how they can get taller. And today's topic is going to be about the best exercise for you to get taller. However, a few caveats. First of all, this exercise will work for guys even later years, all right? Not just for the younger guys. But first of all, if you're going to get taller, it's got to be definitely be below the age of like 18. And there are still people who grow between, let's say, 18 to maybe 20, 22, 23. And some people still grow a little bit up to 25. 25 stretching it. Ideally, you're still a teenager. Now, the other reason I'm doing today's topic is because, um, you know, as we get older, in our 50s, 60s, and beyond, we also start to shrink. And I'm, I'm six foot three. I'm probably around six foot two and a half now because I, I have herniated discs, the top and the bottom. Maybe you already have heard me in previous videos. And uh, my dad, he's like six feet tall and maybe six one, I guess. But now he's, you know, he's 90 years old. I swear to you, I think he's like five, eight, like 10. <laughs> he's like shrunk a lot. Part of his posture for sure. Okay. But it, it just, you know, gravity, it starts pulling things down. Right. Um, your skin sags. If you got boobs, the breast sags, this stuff sags. Everything starts to go down because of gravity. Right. So we need to kind of undo gravity. Uh, I, I have seen other videos from other uh, different YouTube videos and so forth. Uh, videos got millions of views and it's totally BS information on how on exercise they can get taller. They're talking about most of them are just stretching exercises, how to stretch your hamstring, how to do yoga exercises and things like that. Uh, stretching exercises. Stretching is not going to make you taller. Okay. That's that. It's good for all these other reasons and it's good for your muscles and so forth, but it's not going to make you taller. The whole point of today's topic is how you can get taller by kind of stretching out your spine. And again, what can you expect with today's results, with the today's exercise? I don't know, maybe an inch. Hey, you know what? An inch is better than nothing. However, either case, what I'm going to offer you is something that's good for you anyway. And I've been doing it for a few years and in all honesty, I haven't been keeping up with it, but when I was having those initial herniated disc issues, I was doing it often to help give relief, and it did stretch out my back. Um, again, like anything in life, you need to stay consistent and make it a, a, a ritual, whether it's daily or weekly or whatever it is, but it's got to be consistent. So what are the best or what is the best exercise? And that's anything that can, that can uh, decompress the spine. All right. So basically anything that, that you can hang, right? You can hang and that you can do anywhere. You can go to the gym and hang. You can, um, at the, uh, at the park, you can hang on a branch. Uh, you can hang upside down on something. So keep that in mind. I have what I, you know, this is an inversion board. Um, I'll go ahead and, and, and get in it and show you what I do. I've been using this for years and this is kind of an old one, but it's a good one. It's a teeter one, I think. So, you know, let me get in here and show you how I do it. All right, so this is me stretching. I mean, you can kind of see some of it, right? This is me completely hanging upside down. But you, you can do it like this, uh, you know, um, breathing like this, or I don't even, if you, I don't even know if you can hear me. But basically, this is the extreme. You can't really do this for more than a minute or two. I don't know. Some people do it for like five or ten minutes. It's not good. Um, even if you did it a little bit, uh, a semi, right? This will help. Okay. So let me flip backwards. Now, don't do it as ballistically as I did. You know, normally you would do it uh, uh, slowly as to how much or how often you should do it. You know, I've got people doing it two, three times a day, maybe for a minute, and you just do it slowly and, and then just relax. And the whole point is, is to keep things relaxed, not tense. Don't keep your back or ankles tense, tense. Um, you know, one to two minutes. Again, some people do it for five minutes. The first time I, I did it, I'm like, screw it, man. I'll just do it for five minutes. It was difficult. And then I woke up. I had red blisters, like little bumps all over me. 
And I thought, what happened? And it was basically I broke blood capillaries around my eyes and, 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 and chin and cheek area because I did it too much too long. So work into everything, right? I can already, you know, feel a little bit of tension being released right there just doing that because I haven't done it for a while. Anyhow, do this. If you can do it daily, multiple times a day, just for a minute a day, you know, that's good. If not, definitely one of the best times to do it is at night to help you, you know, after a day of compression. Uh, another good time to do is in the morning when you're also more relaxed. Guys, anytime you do anything, back workouts, you know, I, again, if you're young, I've got another videos about this uh, on, on how to, on what exercises to avoid, such as squats, deadlifts, and, and overhead presses. Again, those all compress it. If you're going to do that stuff, especially later on life, make sure you do an inversion board or you hang. Remember, the hanging might be a little bit difficult. Hanging will be easier on your back than this for some people. Uh, but that tends to also stretch out your, your, your terrace major and your shoulders. So that can be difficult for, for other people like me. If I hang too much, my shoulders definitely hurt. This one's easier. There's inversion boards or, or things that, you, that, that go around your hip. Those are the best, but that's pretty expensive. Uh, again, this you can do at home. So there you have it. Do anything that will, that will decompress and stretch out the spine one to two minutes, multiple times a day. First thing in the morning when things are relaxed, it's great. Uh, at night when things are more compressed, it's great. After the workouts, time to relax, you know, anything like that. Keep it steady, you know. I've had people tell me that they've grown up to three inches, okay. Something that I told, you know, and I, that I posted this a few years ago. Three inches, and it took them about a year. But they said they did it three times a day, uh, there were teen, there were like 17 or 18 years old. They did it three times a day and did it for like one or two minutes. And they were religious about it because they, they were only like five foot four. So the guy got up to five foot seven. Again, you know, he probably was growing anyhow, but I'm sure this helped. He felt good. He felt more confident about it. So there you have it. Uh, all the little stretching exercises you hear in other videos and about exercises and yoga don't work as far as getting you taller. They're good for your body, but not as far as getting you taller. This will work. For a lot of people, uh, especially if you're in your teenage years, maybe below the age of 25 for sure, 20s, early 20s, good. And also if you're 40s and beyond, it's really good. Anyone who's got back problems, it's really, really, really good. Guys who work out, fantastic. Uh, if you're sitting all day, like most of us, behind a computer, it does compress. In fact, sitting is worse on your back than standing. I have a standing desk that I work, and some people have these like, you know, workout stuff that's got like a walking treadmill and they're working. That helps your spine better than sitting all day. So keep that in mind. So there you have it. Uh, hopefully this was helpful. Um, additionally, again, I've done videos about this stuff, uh, about how you can grow taller. Remember, a lot of it is just genetics and, of course, hormones. And I talk about it in another video. There's going to be links here and above and below this video. Um, there you have it. Listen, as far as getting taller, I appreciate you focusing on it. But there's other things you can also focus on improving your height improving your stature. And again, I speak about, about that in my other videos. Uh, if you're not subscribed, please do so. If you like this content, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell icon, you know, so you'd be notified. I know a lot of people keep asking me, how do I do this? Where's that video? And I'm like, well, if you're subscribed, you hit the bell icon, you wouldn't know. And you're not left in the dust. There you have it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening and have a happy and healthy day.